Excellencies, Mr. Secretary General, Mr. Chair, Directors, Distinguished Ministers, Ambassadors, Delegates, uh, ladies and gentlemen. First, on my behalf and uh, also on the behalf of the Government of the Czech Republic, I would like to thank uh, to the Government of Romania and the representatives of the ITU for preparing this great conference. The outputs of the plenipotentiary conference will uh, beyond doubt uh, once again constitute a steering beacon for all the membership of the ITU in fulfilling the main ITU goals over the coming time period. As uh, the Czech Republic uh, is a country that uh, has now a pre presidency of the European Union, I have the honor to speak on behalf of all the 27 European Union member states, but also uh, on uh, behalf of uh, another 27 states from all regions of the world, so it's together uh, 54 states, uh, and uh, we would like to uh, mention the following. Since we last met at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference four years ago, uh, telecommunications or ICTs have uh, expanded and developed at a tremendous pace, unlocking great opportunities for humanity and the world, but also generating new challenges to governments and the so societies. We are particularly concerned about uh, the persistent digital divides uh, that further exacerbate social and economic inequalities around the world. Now, uh, more than ever, we need a strong, impactful and efficient union provided core, providing core expertise in the domains of radio communications, telecommunication standards and bridging the digital divide, including with uh, reg regard to gender, age and persons with specific needs. The Union should contribute uh, to the digital transformation that puts humans at the center, empowers individuals and provides meaningful connectivity. To this end, we promote a human rights, rights based approach to the whole life cycle of telecommunication and ICT technologies, including design, development, deployment, use and the disposal as a part of a human-centric vision of the digital transformation, including in international standard-setting processes. In this light, we should work together to achieve a digital transformation based on openness, inclusion, equality, sustainability, resilience, and security. We encourage the ITU as a member of the UN family and working with the other standard development organizations to develop international ICT standards that are consistent with the existing international frameworks on human rights and fundamental freedoms. We welcome other United Nations efforts in this direction, in particular the Human Rights Council Resolution on New and Emerging Digital Technologies and Human Rights that calls for consultations with SDOs on human rights and, uh, and ICTs. It is uh, equally important that the ITU, which builds upon the expertise of various uh, stakeholders, including industry, SMEs and academia, redoubles its efforts to make its procedures more transparent and accessible, including to organizations active on human rights, aspects of telecom, uh, telecom, uh, telecommunications or ICTs, forging consensus and making sure that all stakeholders are heard, <coughs> are heard you know, forms a critical part of the ITU's work. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the, the vision of a future activity of the ITU. As for the Czech Republic, building upon a long-lasting participation and cooperation, we seek for your support in the upcoming elections to the ITU Council. Let me wish this plenipotential conference fruitful discussions and full success. Thank you for your attention.